procedure of donning and doffing of PPE in areas where aerosol generating procedures, AGPs, are being undertaken. There should be a donning station at the entrance to the area which includes the required PPE. Public Health England donning posters should also be displayed. Airborne precaution signs should be displayed on the doors to the unit. When donning and doffing PPE, work with a buddy. A checklist can be found in the COVID-19 resource pack on the IPC SharePoint site. Okay, so before we don, are you happy that the PPE we've got is in line with public health guidance? Yes, I am. I'm going to an area where there will be aerosol generated procedures and therefore I'm going to wear a fluid repellent long sleeve surgical gown and I'm going to wear that sessionally for the duration of time that I'm in the unit. I'm going to wear an FFP3 uh, respirator, which I've been fit tested for. I'm going to wear facial protection. I'm going to choose the visor over the goggles because I wear glasses and I'm going to wear gloves. Okay, that's lovely. Uh, just before you start putting anything on, can we just double check? Are you hydrated because it's going to be quite warm and have you done a toilet check? Yes. You have? Okay, great. Can you just make sure that your hair is tied back and up off the shoulders? It is. And any uh, jewellery that needs to be removed? I don't have any jewellery, but I do have these which are loose, so I'm going to take those off and put them back on. Okay. Um, before we start the process as well, can I just double check? Are you go- do you need any equipment before you go in? No, all of the equipment I need to be in the unit. Okay, lovely. Can I ask you to uh, decontaminate your hands first? Only decontaminate visibly clean hands using alcohol-based hand rub for 40 to 60 seconds. Ensure all areas of the hands, thumbs, wrists and between fingers are covered. More than one shot may be needed and applied until absorbed. Okay, and now can I ask you to start by your PPE, starting with your gun. Lovely, and now can I ask you to apply your respirator? Remove glasses and place on a clean surface prior to fitting respirator. Glasses first, and then can I ask you to apply your eye protection, please. And last but not least, can I ask you to uh, put on the appropriate size gloves. If the gown you're using has material cuffs, ensure that these are tucked inside the cuffs of your gloves. Only one pair of gloves should be applied for effective protection. And as your buddy, can I just double check uh, that everything is uh, fit in appropriately, nothing's loose, so can I just ask you to turn your head from side to side, up and down, and maybe exhale some air, just to make sure there's no obvious leaks. And then can I ask you just to uh, slowly give a turn, to make sure there's no obvious tears and everything's done up correctly. Lovely. Gowns may be worn sessionally. However, a clean apron and gloves are required for each patient. Gloves and aprons should be removed inside the patient room after completing the patient care episode. Ensure you remove the gloves from the inside, not touching the outer surfaces. Make sure you decontaminate your hands between each step. Ensure you fold the apron inwards to avoid touching the outer surface.
Decontaminate hands prior to leaving the room using the alcohol-based hand rub as per policy. After you have exited the patient room, clean your hands before applying a new apron and gloves. This demonstrates appropriate sessional use of PPE. Gloves and aprons should be removed and disposed of between patients and effective hand hygiene undertaken. Be sure not to touch visor, goggles, mask or respirator. Use alcohol-based hand rub as per protocol. When preparing to leave the unit, a buddy in clean PPE should assist you to undo the ties of your gown. If using a plastic gown, your buddy will not need to assist, but should still supervise your removal technique. Ensure the helper is wearing a gown, respirator, gloves, and they remove gloves and perform hand hygiene after assisting. Once outside the unit, ensure your buddy remains more than two metres away whilst you remove your PPE. Okay, can I ask you to decontaminate your hands? Use alcohol-based hand rub as per protocol. Great, and I'm going to ask you to apply some uh, clean gloves. And now can I ask you to remove your visor? And remove your gloves. Now can I ask you to decontaminate your hands once more? Use the alcohol-based hand rub as per protocol. And once you're happy that you've done that effectively, can I ask you to remove your respirator? Use the alcohol-based hand rub as per protocol. Glasses should be placed on a clean surface and decontaminated before being reapplied. If using Clinelle Universal Wipes, ensure 60 seconds have elapsed before replacing the eyewear. After PPE removal is completed, wash your hands with soap and water for 40 to 60 seconds. Set the water temperature. Use cold water if you do not have a mixer tap. Wet hands under the running water and apply soap from the dispenser and rub to all surfaces first. Then using at least five swipes on each surface and aiming to create a frothy lava. Palm to palm, interlacing fingers, backs of both hands and again interlacing fingers, clasp interlocking fingers and rotate. Thumbs including the base, clasp your wrist and rotate. Rinse thoroughly, ensure you remove all soap. Pat skin dry with paper towel. Use elbows to turn off tap or paper towel. Dispose of towel in waste bin foot operated. Do not touch the bin by hand. It takes 40 to 60 seconds to wash and dry your hands properly. And remember, the World Health Organization's five moments for hand hygiene, before patient contact, before aseptic task, after body fluid exposure risk, after patient contact, and after contact with patient surroundings.